So it's nice and early. We're at the airport. Not that we know where we're going, but we're here. <laughs> so we're walking around the airport, looking for a decent place to open our envelopes to know where we're going. So Dawn, do you have any more guesses before we open up the envelopes? Croatia. Croatia. No, I'm, honestly, no, no. I'm going for Italy. Maybe France. Now, I just don't know. I'm just beyond excited. Oh my God, where are we going? <laughs> do you realize that we're actually going to find out now? <laughs> okay, so it's been two weeks since we received this envelope from Anywhere. So about three weeks ago, we found this company called Anywhere and they personalized a trip to a less traveled destination. But the best part about it, you will not find out where you're going until you reach the airport. And this has been like the most exciting part, hasn't it? Yeah. Like For the last two, three weeks, we've been like, where are we going? What are we doing? Can we, let's open it, but we haven't opened it. They're still sealed, let's still sealed. We don't know where we're going yet. Literally. If you're just that excited to find out where we're going, give the video a thumbs up right now. So about a week after we booked, we got this email with kind of hints and a packing list. Yeah, it said the weather's gonna be between six and 26 degrees. And then it also told us what to pack for. Yes. Now, there was museums, castles, vineyards, old towns, gardens, and potential mountains for light hiking. That to me, that's just teasing. That is teasing because that could be anywhere. Could be anywhere. Then they also recommended some good items to bring on this trip. Graham. Things like umbrella, raincoat, uh, sun protection, cap, a travel adapter, mosquito repellent, and a holiday mood. A holiday mood we got with us. And we were allowed 23 kilos, which is awesome because she always packs too much. <laughs> and we had to reach the airport by 6 13. 13. Uh huh. These are the hints. We do know it's it in Europe because we could pick the preferences like Asia, Americas, yeah. whatever. And we chose we said Europe. Europe. Without further ado, we are going to open the tickets. Oh. oh my gosh! Check that out. Ah! Okay, without looking too detailed, we have what looks to be some flight details, okay. some money, and I think we should just open the travel log. I hold this, you open the front page. Okay. This should, I'm guessing, tell us where we're going. Oh, hang on, it's a bit stuck. Okay, it says travel like you mean it. Hang on. <gasps> you I saw, saw it already! I saw something! Second page. Where is this? <laughs> I have no idea where it is. I don't okay. know. I don't know where it is. Say hi to. No! Oh, that was one of my guesses. We guessed one of these. We guessed one of these. So you're headed to a town near Lake. So we're fully aware that you still don't know where we're going. Because I've bleeped it out in post editing. <laughs> we're not going to give it to you that easy, guys. No. You've got to come on this adventure with us. So we're going to drip feed you hints and the first hint is I've seen the flight on the board. So if you can guess from all these flights, <laughs> good luck so to you. So mean, so mean. So when we're at the airport we like to look at the travel magazines. A little bit of a guess there. Ah, Italy guys, lovely country. Okay, everything has gone to plan so far. It's all running nice and smoothly. We've got one hour into the flight. Thank you. 
just arrived to the location. It's 15 degrees, so it's very pleasant. Yeah. Very excited for the next part of the journey. Oh. What we didn't explain is that this will be our little travel bible. It's called a travel log, and inside it literally shows us step by step how we're gonna get to our next destination. So next up, the train. Okay, we're on the train, we're on route to our first destination. I think like for me personally, one of the best things about this trip so far is that I haven't had to book anything. I haven't had to research flights. I haven't had to research accommodation. Yeah. I haven't had to book anything. The only thing we did have to book was this trip. This trip. Because this is super personalized. Yeah. Like, you don't really get the same trip twice because it's personalized to you. So in order to find out what we are like, you had to answer all sorts of questions like, oh, what is your perfect first, first date? date? Those kind of questions. And that was so much fun, wasn't it? It was so much fun. From there, they tailored the whole trip to you, yeah. which is really cool. But I'm just looking, I'm just sitting back relaxing and uh, taking it all in. Wow. into our accommodation and it's almost not raining so we're hoping to get the drone up and we found out about this cool restaurant that really serves like dishes so we're excited for that but while we're waiting for the food I'll show you around because this place is so cute and it's got a real authentic feel to it like look how cute this is let me turn you around how cozy with like the little roof i think for a first night this is the perfect place and also i've just seen some dinners come out they look amazing did you see those plates so i've just seen all these trophies in the cabinet and it's got trucks on the front so i'm going to ask them what kind of thing this is okay it turns out that at the next village there every year there's a big trucking festival thousands of well probably hundreds of massive trucks come and this is one of the stops that many trucks stop at during like the whole year and they eat here and that's why they got loads of trophies and stuff because it's a it's a trucking stop amazing so we ordered on recommendation of anywhere the rusty which is a highly recommended national dish and look at it bon appetit okay that meal was insane <laughs> actually, it was just like so rich and full of cheese it was probably the best cheese meal i've ever had wouldn't you say yeah crazy guys that was our first day on this trip we're gonna say good night because we're knackered and we're gonna catch you guys in the morning right yes let's explore together tomorrow so we'll see you in about two seconds bye good morning we are bright and early up and out we're just gonna head into our local town taking a bus now and guess what the sun is out i have still got my rainy jacket on i can't wait for today let's go Okay, we are at one of the lake's most prestigious places. As you can see in the background, we have the castle. It's so beautiful. It's kind of like Disneyland, not it's Disneyland. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Vibe. Can we take a moment to appreciate this water? I mean, I'm talking Philippines green, literally.
came towards the town and it's literally been raining like hard for about an hour but now the skies are clear and we can see the castle here in the town we see all the blue rivers all around us probably all connected to the lake like it's amazing we're currently standing kind of on like an island which is surrounded by all the water and there's restaurants on the water there's terraces it's such a nice town i don't think anyone knows about this like we would have never gotten here if anywhere ahead and send us here okay we are on the way hey door this way i reckon we can get this to the castle this way up for some stairs i'm down for it and considering what we ate last night we need the exercise Okay, we made it to the top. That was day one. We've got like another five days left. This is gonna be epic. Tomorrow we're going to a new town. Woo! Okay. okay, it's morning and we're on to our next city. Cannot wait for it. It's about 25 miles away via the train. But anyway, we're waiting for the bus and uh, I think it's coming actually. All right, let's go. Okay, so we've got about 30 minutes until the next train to the next station. Uh, one thing that you probably don't know about Theodora is that she is a talented pianist. Theodora, are you ready? Let me try again. Hang on. That is absolutely ridiculous. I'd rather listen to this. All right, we've made it to our next destination. How beautiful is this? Woo! Okay, so we've checked into our homestay. We did ask for either homestays or hotels on this trip. So this is a, like an Airbnb kind of homestay. It's quite a cool room. And the view outside is amazing. So I've consulted our travelogue and they are recommending us to find the cathedral and explore the old town. And look at the frame on it. We literally took two steps outside our accommodation and we are seeing it. So the country we're in has different regions with different languages. And the section where we're in now is really quintessential to this area. And I'm loving it. Like every street is super cute. Okay, so we're just walking through old town and we're gonna be exploring this place. Whoa. Oh my God. Okay, All right. hit the jackpot. This looks like the cathedral. Okay, so according to local tales, this 47 meter tall tower was never completed due to lack of funds. However, it's still possible to climb the 365 step to the, fort, to the top and enjoy the panoramic view. Shall we pin that for tomorrow? Because tomorrow? I feel like we've walked a lot today. What do you think? I think those 365 steps and definitely wait for tomorrow. Yeah. I really think we should keep walking and we need to hit some food. Right, we decided well, to go down. All of these stairs. <laughs> but you know what they say, when you go down, you've got to come back up. They were in high school when they met Things got kind of awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her was busy on Instagram So if you want to follow us on our account Then it's at Babe, where's my password? It's open! It's cool, isn't it? Oh my gosh! Mm. How was it? Mmm, I don't know. Spit it out. Oh my god. Mmm. 
Mmm. Mmm. Mmm. Babe, get in here. A love song, cause I know you'll make it beautiful. And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart. That was so good. We're gonna go back to accommodation and fall asleep. Literally. We'll see you tomorrow. Guess, Guess who's, who's back? back. Back, back again. again. She made me sing this, guys. <laughs> Before we leave this city, we are not getting away with climbing the cathedral, 365 steps. The travel log told us we needed to do this, so we're not gonna let her down. Exactly, the travel log has been brilliant. It's been bossing us around and- It's been getting us out of our beds. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, our time here is up. Now we're off to the next city, guys. Are you guys coming with us? Let's go. Okay, so we've changed and we just checked into our little room and this area, the view, our surroundings, I cannot stop talking about it. And you know the saying, saving best for last? Well, I think that's what anywhere has done. Wow. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. We are by the train tracks. We're about a minute away from our accommodation. Uh, we were inside the train and all of a sudden the view changed and we were both We came like, around this corner and we were like, whoa. whoa. Insane. This lake is quite famous. It's well known. Yeah. And we are on the cusp of it. And every single little green bit that there is, guess what they've done with it? Fine yards. <laughs> Brilliant. So that means we're gonna go for a wine tasting. Oh, babe. Hell yeah. Take I mean, me. How beautiful is this? Just when I thought things couldn't get any better, we got down to a local village and there's a port, there's boating, there's little restaurants around, the mountains in the back still have snow on, I'm overlooking vineyards, I mean, I'm lost for words and that's not often the case. Okay, we're on our way to the vineyard, so we need to take a train. We're not sure where we're going, but it's an adventure! That's fun! Obviously not our train As you know, we're in the wine region and you can tell by this house that this is a winemaker's house because we have a front square door. The arch door is the door that leads into the wine press room. It needs to be arched. And right upstairs, you'll have a square window or door for storage. And that's how you can seek out a winemaker's house, which means that we're getting closer to the wine, babe. All that way is closed. Ah! Oh. No way! Okay, we're back in the self-service little room here. Basically everything is shut. But that's quite good because one means it's cheaper for us to get a bottle of wine here. We've just found a nice little a point in the vineyards where we're going to sit. The sunset is about two hours away so we're going to get a bottle. We're going to sit and we're going to enjoy. and we're literally sitting by the grapes. 
where we're of. drinking the wine off. You can't get better than that, babe. Actually, it was probably meant for a reason that everything is shut. This is way better, babe. Look at it. Just you, me, and the vlog, babe. Okay, we've come back down to our local little uh, village water area because we were getting so hot up there in the vineyards. We actually bought a cheeky Chardonnay at the Help Yourself server shop. But we came here because we were so hot. We just need a dip, guys. <laughs> How cold is it? Is it really cold? It's cold. Is it really cold? <gasps> it's so nice. Okay, that is the end of today. An amazing city, an amazing little town. We are gonna enjoy our Chardonnay and enjoy the sunset with you guys and we'll see you in the morning. Okay, not a massive one for museums, but we're here at the Olympic Museum. This is the birthplace of the Olympics. I'm not quite sure why or how, but I'm gonna find out. We're gonna go inside. I don't think we're allowed to vlog inside, so we're gonna put the camera away. But there are some cool little things we're gonna do afterwards outside. Ah, you ready, Dor? Let's do it. So considering we're in the Olympic capital of the world, the sun has finally come out. We're now gonna walk on to the main oh, stage, no. which is the 100 meter sprint. I kind of feel are like you I'm ready? dressed for it. Look you at are it. totally dressed for it. <sighs> and I say that we do the race to see who wins. Okay. Take your marks. So I totally won that. It was a close call, no, but I no, it was no. I went over the line first. No, I think. Well, hang on. Let's do a replay to see across the line first. I'm going to put a line over. See. Well, I think what we need to do is have you guys be referee. I'll put a poll in here right now. Click Theodora if you think it's me. Obviously, it's you, me. You can we see that I won. My we foot came over first. Right there. And then we have Graham, which inevitably it's me. Anyway, I think I won. Uh, all this running has made us extremely hungry. I think we're going to go for our last meal on this trip because we are going back tomorrow. So, do I ready for some food? Yeah, I am ready. So we've come back down to our local village and all of a sudden there's a market on which is like so cosy to watch. But all along the waterfront we saw a load of restaurants last night so we're hoping to go for dinner there, take you guys with us. We still haven't eaten since the Olympics so I feel like a nice meal would do us right. Theodora is trying to coach me on what engagement ring she wants. Not good guys, not good. After spending way too much time trying to get this time lapse this morning, I was a little bit late, so we had to pack up really quickly, jump on the local bus, onto the local train, then onto the main train. We then entered the airport, we had to print our boarding passes, check in the luggage, get through the gate, give our passports through, make the long walk down the plank, onto an empty plane, fight through the thunderstorms, into sunny Amsterdam, then realising that our train was about to leave in five minutes, we had to grab a bag, run through the baggage hall, run through the airport, all the way through to the train station, 
GoPro couldn't even handle the speed that we were going at. We finally got onto the elevator and onto the train. And after all that, we are back. Tell me, what did you think? I loved it. It was so amazing. I, ne I mean, we would have never booked a trip to Switzerland, would we? Ah, <gasps> oh, you told them. <laughs> now you know. But it was, no, but hang on. It's not the known places though, where they send us to. It's not the capitals. It's these places that you would have never no. gone to. And they just- Epic. Yes. Epic, epic, epic. Is that I mean, the word? That is the word of the video. One epic. word, epic. And we want to thank Anywhere for making this uh, video possible. Yes. And any last words? I would say, guys, like take it from us. Just travel anywhere. Get it? Um, travel anywhere and you'll have the best time, you honestly. Will, exactly. Get traveling and we'll see you in the next video. See you guys later. Bye. Ciao.